Hello and welcome to the exciting launch of the Arnold Clark Innovation Centre here in Glasgow. Tonight we're going to be hearing from the Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Eddie Hawthorne. We've got two special guests as well, Professor Sir Jim MacDonald from Strathclyde University, who's also the President of the Royal Engineering Society, and also all the way from Monaco, the Head of the Audi Formula E team, Alan McNish. We'll be hearing from them. This is an educational centre. It's twofold. It's an educational centre for customers. We're, we're facing, as Rachel said, a big change in transportation uh, and, and, in, and the environment over the next 10 years. And this is all about helping our customers understand what's right for them and when to actually buy a car. Sir Arnold started his business on helping people to buy a car, and this is what this is all about. This is about helping people understand there is no pressure whatsoever. This is staffed by product geniuses who are only here to tell you all about the vehicles. And the other flip side of that is education for ourselves, because the innovation, the technology is moving so quickly. For us to keep up with that, we need to educate our staff. We're not going to achieve net zero without designing products, innovating, uh, and then of course ultimately uh, you know, creating infrastructure. That's key. And, and for all of you that are engineers or budding engineers, uh, it's not just about inventing something brand new. Of course that's important, and I'm a researcher at heart, so that's important to me. But innovation is what Eddie and John and the team are doing, mm -hmm. and reinventing what this business does to present you know, uh, you know, auto, automobile industry in a new way. The banners you see around the city uh, about people make Glasgow, for me, that's the magic sauce. It's, uh, you need leadership, you need ideas, you need investment. But it's the calibre of the individuals that are in the city that matters. Uh, so I, if I take you historically, very briefly, but you think it was come out of this city. Uh, I, I live in the Royal College building in George Street. Two doors down from me is where John Logie Baird mm -hmm. invented television uh, and, uh, and started a whole well, a, a transformational impact in the world. You know, uh, Alexander Graham Bell. It's always a moot point about whether him or Marconi, but let's give the credit to Alexander Graham Bell on, on, on telephony. And, and we cannot live our lives or be professionals without all of that. Uh, but here in this city, I think there's a, there's a connectedness. There's a, there's a warming, welcoming approach uh, to the city. And we need to translate that into not only supporting our people, but attracting investment. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in the city already, uh, you know, the, the, the investments going on in the infrastructure. It gives me great heart to see the number of cranes on the horizon these days. You remember our forebears back at the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, the, the, the exporters, the, you know, those that were in the shipping industry. Let's recapture that spirit uh, where there's risk taking well, there's an understanding at the heart of Glasgow, you know, second city of the empire and all that at one time. We can recapture that leadership and innovation is a real opportunity for us. We dare not leave anyone behind because back to what we were saying earlier on, human capital is fundamental in all of this. So we need to make sure the education system's lined up, that training and education opportunities follow them, that companies like Arnold Clark show the enlightenment that they're showing in this place to let folk understand that they can engage with it. What I would hate to see is the industrial, uh, industrial 4.0 happening mm -hmm. and the people of Glasgow are observing it. Mm -hmm. We want industry 4.0 to happen and create industries here. So we've gone from only one power source and one way of doing things for what, nearly 100 years, and then suddenly, in a space of 12 years, it completely changed on its head. And that, for me, is exciting, because that is innovation. Now, what's the next 12 years going to be? And that's something that I'm really looking forward to, because where we've gone and where we are today and where we will be in 12 years, this is a golden age of engineering when it comes to the transformation into electrification.
thanks for joining us here at the official launch of the Arnold Clark Innovation Centre. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And don't forget, you can come down to the centre. There is no sales involved. They're just here to answer questions about hybrid and electric vehicles. They know everything you need to know, so come along.